Today I'm uh, going to start a one video sequence about uh, a rank 19C migration and upgrade. The purpose for this talk is try to show uh, how I did one project, which is migrate upgrade Oracle database 11G or 12C from the Linux 6 to Linux 7, and also upgrade this version to 19C. This is the Lucian Bana system application database. Some is really big, about one terabyte. <coughs> Here is the rank system when new rank system was set up. Uh, rank system probably you already run into it before. You know what it looks like. This is a network setting for the our systems. The system we need to one is called a scan IP, or there is a scan which is the entry point from all of the other world outside or applications through this scan IP and go to the system. This new system will have four nodes for rack cluster. Right? And then on each node, you have three things to be set up. The scan IP is not set up on the node itself. It is set up by the DNS. And on the node, you have a public IP, which is you can access from outside work if you want to. Another one called the visual IP. The visual IP, Oracle use it to do the failover. For example, it's node one is down, right? And then the failover will be go to node two, three, four. They say how it does, it is using the visual IP. The third one will be private IP, which is shown here. That is the communication between the node because uh, the RAC system, they need to communicate with each other to see, hey, tell them I'm alive, I'm dead. And then when you la you're still alive, scan can send the user to your node if you're dead everything go to fill over to the others. They communicate each other. This is the, how the network set up. Uh, usually this setup will be set up by network network team. Yeah. If we see the really rack application server, right? this is how it works. You have public PC to access your rack for node cluster. On each node, we installed two things, two home. One is called a grade. A grade including two parts. Grade infrastructure including two parts. One is the software for grid home. Another one is ASM. ASM, it is the storage used for database. So public access is four node. This four node all of them are connect to this is database data file location that is using the ASM. But this four node also connect to one shared storage or using backup. Why we set up this way? The reason is because from the old node to duplicate database to the new node, you got migrated, right? We're using backup. So on the source system, the backup will be stored on shared storage. From the shared storage, we're using RMAN. 19C Arman to duplicate database from the shared storage to ASM. So this is how the system set up. So by now you need you know for the rank setup network we need to set up this way 
each node have three IPs, public, visual, private. Also, we need one called scan. Scan have three IPs, one, two, three. It's load balance. This network set. But on this node, each node, we're going to install two things. One is called a grid infrastructure. That is the grid home plus ASM. And also, we're going to install the Oracle database home. It's a four node. Each of them have a grid home, ASM, database software. Insulation only from the node one. Okay. So this is system setup as to how you connect to the shared storage. So the all of node can see the ASM disk here and all of node can see the backup location. And then the look we back up from here, I mean from here duplicate database to the ASM database location. This is the details about our system. It's a new one, old one. The one thing I'd like to mention is 19C called the GIMR, which is a great infrastructure management repository. Start from 19C. This database is optional. You don't need it. The sequence of video for seven of them is uh, all tasks from the rack, uh, migrate and upgrade. Uh, as I know, it's for seven of them. So I simply to explain to you. The first video will be pre-task for installation 19C grade, also work at home. The second one, we're going to talk about how to install the great infrastructure. The third one is install 19C work at home. And then when we finish the one, we need to create shared ASM disk groups. When you finish from one, two, three, four, we're ready to do the migrating and also upgrading. The number five, I'm going to talk about how how I did for migrate the database from the Linux six to Linux seven. Linux seven is 19C server, and then we are migrate database because you cannot open it during the use. The version before is lower than 19.7. Database cannot be open. So the next one we have to do is upgrade the database from 12C to 19C. When we finish upgrading database, the database can be open. But however, even database is open in a single instance. Later I will review the details how why it became a single instance, right? The next one you have to do is clustering the upgraded 19C database to this four node rack. When we finished one database, migration, upgrade are done. The software we are using is three part. First is Workhole ASM software, which we're using to create ASM disks. This one. The second is Workhole pre-install. This will set up a pre-install environment, some file updated, and then you have a, a essential condition to be installed software there. And then the third one will be Great Home. The software. So the first one we're hosting, you got download this one is to because we're using the Red Hat. So Red Hat, you have to download this to code the key mode work OSM, which is the 1.7 and also 6 to bit. 
and for the, the others will be easy for link 7 you got to get two of them one is called ASS and lip another one is ASM support this is for your ASM software for vertical pre-install that you can download this file from this location the last one will be is the, actually for this installation we the reason I'm download because I talk about it uh, we're dealing with called a banner system or need a work client actually for this task for the seven video series we only need two of them one is called grade 193 another one is TV home when you got software we can start to do the work and then here's the first one for this video is a summary for pre-check task so simply I was just explaining to you is an upgrade package or on Linux site or make the current this is select Linux disable it firewall stop disable it this one you just check it a network you really already did it and the package installation which are two part one is a pre-package another one is Oracle ASM when we got this one of course we'll have to have server side user right Oracle user or Word user later I'm going to talk about it how I did in their system what's what is uh, their requirement and also create some directory with the homes or work on the grid this one you don't need to do it for installation but you can have it when you finish installation the setup environment for the grid environment also for the database environment another one is a host file change we got put all the network information provided by network team in this host file except a scan the scan is another one has to be set up on DMS. and then because there's a say communication between two four nodes right we have to configure the four node can be talk to each other as a work user without asking for the password because it's automatically if I have to ask a password it won't work the next one for the storage for installation we need ASM disks created let's see some details of how we're going to do it step by step all of them 12 of them go through it be really quick I'm not going to talk about it the arrow I'm running to just to go through it uh, and then because this video I limit it to the 10 minutes or something like that the first one is upgrade all package yam upgrade you're running as root it's supposed to depend on how system you have sometimes a very long list sometimes it's just quick the second the single command disable it it's easy this is the file etc in the configure file directory and then using permissive you really before it is enabled right you either use it disable or permissive permissive is good enough the next one will be firewall using this command stop fire first and disable the firewall for installation this one NDP configuration you really just so how you check it uh, network already set it up if this thing's already set up that'd be fine that's uh, generally it's not your job to set up package installation for two of them one is to pre-install for the 19c which is probably set up some files uh, or set of parameters also some needed package 
this kind of things. You're using this because I already download this file, RPM file. Command is the yum local install this file name. It will go through really quick. Usually uh, for several minutes, uh, be done. The next one is installed Oracle ASM. The Oracle ASM for three things has to be installed. As I mentioned, I download the three files, right? The first one is a Oracle ASM self. Key mode is the one used for the Red Hat. But if you say, if you do not have this one, you can use it like a Oracle. Linux, so you don't need to use the key mode one, it's just to say you really work on ASM or do it. So, this one is the things take probably several minutes. You can install it when you install the first one, the second one, you install this ASM lib. This is a file, it's download file, is the so you have to use a local install. Yeah, I'm local install the file name. Be done really quick. The next one, when you got that one, this ASM support is another one I have to install it. So this these two of them are installed really quick. The time is limited, I have to go through really quick. Another one is a create installation user. The user usually for all the people for work or standard is a two user. One is a work or another one great. But this university asked me to do different things. They don't want to separate two users. They want to install grade, also Oracle and a single user Oracle. Okay. In that case, yeah, we can do that way. This should be fine. Uh, only thing you have to consider about, uh, okay, how about uh, your Oracle base? How to set up, right? If you separate them, be easy. Each user have their own Oracle base, Oracle home, also the inventory directory. But in this case, there are some issues. Later I will show you, it's a fine. So, but you do need to create two groups for ASM. Because start beginning, I think I can bypass it by the group DBA. It's not. When you install, it failed. You have to have both ASM DBA ASM admin group. So this user created the next one, create a directory. Directory the only things you need is Great Home, also Oracle Home. Two of them. The things will be for the new grid, right? The Oracle base for new Oracle Home. The workable base are same, and then we use the same inventory. This is the only difference for the standard installation from the workable, because the workable separate this two part of grid owned by the grid user, workable home owned by workable user. So they have a separate inventory directory. They also have a separate workable base. But in our case, everything get together. Actually, when I finish installation, this because this way that what they want, it is working. No problem. The inventory have the both information about it. Underneath everything created under base, great or work at home, they needed admin directory. Everything there, no conflict. It's perfect. Okay for them. The next ones actually I indicate here you do not do it, do not need to do it now for installation because installation never asks you information. What's the database, where's your node or something? They just pick up the information smart enough from the server side. That's the only things what they want is the home. They create inventory if you do not have one. So it's very easy to deal with. But in the future, when you're done installation, it is better you have the setup because you, of course, you have a grade. You have 
Oracle Home, right? Your database. So when you log in, you have a different environment. There are two of them you need to set up. One for database. The file will be same. You have no name, Oracle Home, there for database. Each node are same, only difference is here. Node one, but Oracle Home is same, only difference. You set up on all of them for node, but the next things will be the grid. When you set up grid, right, for each node you have a grid set up, node name, also ASM. This is the one on node one, right? You have grid home. Grid home is the same for each node. Right? Then the second node will be SM2, node two, three, and four. And if you set up this, it's pretty easy for to use. When you log in, you have the environment setup will be much easier for you to do it. The next one we have to configure the host file. For the node work diagram, I show you there's a scan IP, also private, public, visual IP, right? In the host file, you do not set up a scan IP there. If you do, then scan IP is not going to road robin rotate. What they're doing is they just pick the first up, first one, always. So scan IP has to be set up in DNS, but this one I put in the host file. For each node, you have three of them. You have node one, public one, and the visual IP and the private one. This is how to set up. Scan, I used the name for rack scan new. Three IPs configured with it. Anytime you type this command, NS lookup again, and then first on top is 111, the second will be 112, the third time will be 113. This is how you check if it works or not. The next one is the, a little bit of work to do with the configured SSH connection without a prompt for password. Yeah. Because it's a four node, if you from node one to talk to node two, right? You connect to it and then if you ask a password, they cannot communicate each other. So the way you're doing it, it's uh, say on the node one, let's do this first. You run this command. This command will be generated two keys. One is a public key, another one is a private key. If you see, it generates in directory dot SSH, right? There's a two of them. This is a private one, it's the public one. The public is one, so we need to communicate between the node. So if you can this one, you know this node is high, this is node one. So by now you already have this public key, private key. What you needed to do is run the same command, this one, on node two, three, four. Then you generate the four public IP on each node. Then we come back to the node one. On node one, we create one file. This is a file we created. You put the full node public IP in the same file here. You just copy and paste, it's fine. And then you can see when you create this file, it will look like in the file in you have four public keys for each server, right? I have four of them. So when you got this file, what you're going to do is copy this file to all of the nodes in directory home oracle.ssh. Each home, they have the same file here. You can use SCP to copy it. 
The next one is your testing. Testing is very easy. You're using this command SSH Oracle Node 1. You from the Node 1 connect to Node 2, 3, 4. From 2, go to 1, 3, 4. You go this one to check whether logging is OK or not. If everything is checking is OK, you're ready to do the installation. DNS just well, I think it's the best you're doing it. Uh, uh, even your host file is there, but it's putting the DNS you can access it from everywhere. That'd be fine. The next one is to configure the ASM disks. ASM already installed before, right? Three installation. Now, this executable is available when you install it. You type this one first to configure it. What you do is work on ASM configure as I. When you're running this, here is your input. You have to tell them, hey, what is the user you're going to manage this? What is the group, right? Also, when you boot the system, is it automatic up or not? So we're using Workl because the Workl is going to use this ASM disk. So work with the user group is all installed. And the next yes and yes, we're done initialized. I'll configure it. And then you're running this command in this. Nip the systems. Now we're ready to create ASM disk. How the ASM disk was created generally, it created the from I think it's the Partition. If you don't know anything about partition, how to create a partition, that's a different story, that's different skills. But usually system people know it very well, but you can do it also. If you want to do this, you can check uh, on the Google it, uh, and you can find a way how to create it. But if you say on the system, you try to find where they are, this is the command you can use. LSBLK-A. It lists all of them, you know, the device, block device available. For example, here, let's see, you probably already know in the DEV directory, you can see SDA, SDB, DC, or something, right? The SDC is the disk. SDC1 is the partition or the partition did by OS team. Yeah. What this one? Because by now there is called a multipass. The reason is that this one can it, it, it will be organized by eight different this partition. This is how it does multipass. And then this one is also partition, but it's a partition not from only from SDC. It also can including, you know, the SD, the others, SDF, DG, or something. So this is the way we are going to use using this one to create ASM disk, but not using this partition. We're going to use this one. When this one's clear, I will give you the list about tables. Here is the table list. As I mentioned, we're going to use this partition with the multipass, right? Here is where is multipassing mapper, where it is. This location will be DEV mapper, this name. And then it's related to the ASM disk, this is the disk name. So we'll have a whole tables, which one using for which disk. We usually need at least OCR voting. Also, date is another one we need. But if we want to, FRA. Right? So, this is the three of them we needed. We create a three of them using different potation, which is already available for us. The command to do it will be easy, just like this. 
Oracle ASM created disk, disk name, which is a pickup from here to see what is the mapper for it, and you put here the pass. So you're running this one. If it's no problem, you can finish this way. Right. So the next one you're going to do is you're going to scan these disks. When you scan, you're going to say on the server side you can see it. So we create one script called CRASM disks. Same command for each disk. Also, there are partition. When we finish when we're running this one, it gives us the information about it. It's further no error. Then you're done. When you're done this one, here's you're going to do. Because when you're done the node one, right, you see those partitions were shared by all of the other nodes, but when you're down the node one, node two or three, four cannot see it. So this is a uh, command you're going to run on each, on each node, two of them. Scan the disk, also list the disk. For example, on node four, you're running Oracle scan disk. An output will show you, okay, we find all of them, right? already created on node 1. And then you're using Oracle ASM listed disks. So you can see all of the disks. Where is location? This is a real location where this ASM disk located with the DEV Oracle ASM disks. So this location is going for you to use later to create disk group. Those are ASM disks. But the real database you're using is ASM disk group. By now, the all the procedure finished, and then pre-task pre finished, we're ready to install the workload grade infrastructure. See you next time.